Logan Paul? What's that right there? That's right. Detective Bond has found something very important. So today, ladies and gentlemen, you guys will be aware of the KSI versus Logan Paul fight and little conflict that's going on. And then August 25th, there'll be the fight between them two and then also Deji and Jake Paul. Today, there's a bit of a, a banter in the in the Twitter scene, in the YouTube scene. So basically, unfortunately, we're going to have to click on a Logan Paul video for this uh, video itself. So Logan Paul made this video called Dear KSI, Here's Why I Walked Off Stage. Now, in this second press conference, which I didn't want to do reacting to because it wasn't as really good as the first press conference, and but, well, actually, the second press conference was just as good, and I'm just going to leave it like that. You can search it on the internet. We're going to go ahead, and we're going to. I need to show you guys this. I need to show you guys this because I know lead on to what I'm going to be talking about. So, in this 18 minutes of Logan Paul low gangster uh, content, uh, he talks about. Uh, oh wow, look, look the dislikes: uh, 50,000 and uh, 340. Thousand. The low gangers are still there though. But once again, can I say this? Just uh, I'm not on any side. I'm not on any side. I'm just here to uh, do my own little research and um, some thirsty for relevancy, mate. Yeah, that's the reason. I'll show you why I'm actually bothering to make a video on this because wow. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you guys later of the reason why. Now, if I can go like it's uh, so you basically roast, 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 roast. Uh, KSI for about the half of the video and then he talks about the commentator that was in the second press conference Okay, so can I pause this for a second as well? So in the press well in the press conference That was the first one the first press conference that was in the US this guy which is Shannon Briggs I believe his name is or something he was the first commentator or whatever for the first press conference that was in LA I believe um, now he did, he was like, you know, neutral as it appeared, but, but he was very one-sided and I realized that immediately in the second press conference, you can see that he was on the Jake Paul, Logan Paul side. That immediately, I mean, he was obviously on the, the US side. Drew Geordie was uh, the commentator for the second press conference. Uh, Logan Paul's trying to say, which I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys here. It's me. Logan Paul, this kid's a big f***ing YouTuber in America. Just a douchebag, jock, whatever. he's not hurting anyone, you know, he's a f***ing idiot, but who cares, he's not hurting anyone. While those things may be true, and you or anyone is free to have whatever opinion they want about me. I just don't think the moderator of the press conference, the person who should be neutral, the person who should be the one driving the conversation, should be a Logan and Jake Paul hater! What the f***ing tits, bro? Whose decision was that? You see, so now that's like very hypocritical because they had that Shannon guy or whatever that kept on saying, let's go champ for 50 times in the whole entire press conference. Just just watch my reaction to the first press conference. It was disgusting, but like, if you want to watch it, then go ahead and watch it, be my guest. Now what Logan's saying is that like, True Geordie shouldn't commentate on this like actual event that's gonna happen August 25th. August 25th, I've literally heard like 50 times, especially from Deji, he loves repeating that date, literally engraved in his skull or something. Well, True Geordie actually made videos about Logan Paul saying like, he actually like hates him and stuff. Which I completely understand, because the guy, I mean, he uploaded, you know, the things that were in January about, you know, the thing in Japan or whatever that occurred. Which, to be honest, how could you not hit someone for what he did? You've got to have some common sense. What what, what was he even doing in that forest? It's just stupid. Anyway, a quarter of it is roasting True Jordy. Now, also, the title of this video, which might be uh, Logan Paul is a hypocrite or maybe a, a manipulator. And the reason why I think uh, I'm probably on KSI's side now is um, because of this one little thing, this one little thing, this video. Now, I decided, you know, I'll watch this full video that said, Dear KSI, here's why I walked off stage, because it was interesting, the points were interesting, and I was like, right, okay, uh, Logan Paul mentioned some sexual harassment things that KSI did, like, years ago, and I'm sure that KSI's, like, actually learned his, I mean, I've been watching him for, him for literally years, and I can literally say that, like, I have been watching KSI ever since he li literally made those, like, funny little skits in the owner Citroen C2. Like, I literally remember all those little things. Not trying to be biased towards KSI, but the thing is, is that I think KSI's done less things that are, are, as, are like serious as what Logan Paul's done wrong, which is why I'm going to say now I'm going to be towards KSI. And then I guess you could say because I'm from the United Kingdom. One little thing about the sexual harassment. Find it when I can find it, when I can find it. Now, I was actually watching this video and like like understanding Logan Paul and all this like sexual harassment stuff he was actually mentioning. And I was like, okay, I understand Logan Paul for this. But then I actually realized this. So in this point on, this was a video uh, like years ago that he did with Casper Lee. And like KSI was saying, oh, I'm gonna sister and this and that, which is just like weird to actually do for a public video. It's like, 
going to go out there and stuff. Very, 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 very disgustingly manipulative from Logan Paul to do this right now. I don't know if he blindly didn't look at the dates of these videos, but what Logan Paul was trying to say, and I'll show you guys. So Logan Paul, at this point in the video, is saying that uh, Casper Lee's sister basically... I mean, as 99% of the, video, the viewers watching and my I myself thought that that video was literally in response to like KSI saying all these like things to like Casper Lee's sister, in which it basically, that whoever edited that video in that type of way, which I'm guessing Logan Paul allowed it to, and it, uh, hence it's on his channel, is basically trying to make KSI look bad. I don't want him to blow his load all up in my why do you why do you look so upset bro? Because <laughs> you keep talking about <laughs> I think that us girls need to kind of stand up for ourselves. Now I'm gonna show you guys how and why that is manipulative. Now this is just one reason right now for showing that Logan Paul's probably manipulative. I guess you could say also the thing in January. So KSI and Casper Lee made this video in 2015, 31st of May. 2015, gonna say that again, 2015. Now, I'm your detective boy, let me get my shirts on as well. Doing my little research, today I've noticed that this sexual assault video is also, well not also, but released on the 8th of November. What's that? What's that right there? What's that right there? Logan Paul, what's that right there? That's right, Detective Bond has found something very important. 2014, so Logan Paul's trying to say that this video is in response to basically okay size so do you guys see this i mean if you're a low ganger and you're watching this video and you comment down below like he's not doing anything wrong i'm a low ganger yeah boy Stop. it's just making ksi look bad and if people don't know that this video is like it, that just basically says nothing this video that part of the video says nothing can't use that as like evidence please tell me you see how that is manipulative because it literally just is to the max and it's just disgusting true jordy since i mean he was targeted for like quarter of the video and i think logan paul is basically contacted well to get true jordy which is going to be the commentator of the fight uh, because it's happening in the uk uh, to not commentate it because he thinks that he's biased towards ksi and this is where the commentator of the second press conference which was true jordy steps in logan paul in the video he did check back seeing that um, True Geordie is a hater of Logan Paul and that's why he's trying to get True Geordie like stopped from commentating the fight uh, which is a big thing for everyone on Twitter which I'm gonna actually check well, I feel like it like I literally feel like I should be on drama right now or something like some news channel but what I was really thinking about because uh, he was commentating that first press conference one week ago 2.6 million views one week ago now I mean if you just look at his next video 228 thousand views on that other video and it's just consistent 200 views 200,000 views 200,000 views around that range and then bang I actually watched uh, part of this video which i mean true jordy actually uh that podcast was actually sick i need to finish that off as well as you can see i've only got a quarter way through this is actually phenomenal true jordy is actually growing at such a phenomenal rate which is insane like i i think i don't even think it was at hundred thousand subscribers when i actually remember when i first heard of him ages ago like i think it was Mate, it was like a year ago or something. Responding to Logan Paul 11 hours ago, 1.7 million views. I'm not trying to say, oh, mate, he doesn't deserve that because he is getting so much like love from everyone, which is good. I want you guys to guess how many subscribers has he grown in the past 24 hours? Comment down below. Comment down below right now. I'm not going to show you guys. Just comment down below and then I'll like show you guys 192 subscribers in that day the 24 hour period and then you look down below just scan down below i'm gonna just do like my editing sequence where i scan down below sunday 77,000 subscribers he's literally gonna hit a million subscribers in less than 24 hours must be must be at this rate that he's growing which is insane mate i want to i want to i want a plaque too god damn it i need to get to 100,000 subscribers somehow <laughs> but Damn, but yeah, I don't even know where I'm going from this video. The fact is, is that uh, the two points that I wanted to make from this video, Logan Paul is a manipulator from that video that he uploaded. Now, you know, some of the comments that he made, you know, sexual harassment, this and that, which KSI has already been, been bombarded from and he's had deals that have like gone from like brands 
uh, already years ago. It's not as recent of the thing as what's happening with Logan and why people hate Logan. Then again, I've got to give KSI side because that's literally when he was, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say young because at that age that he was saying those comments and stuff like sexual harassment, he was pretty much my age I, as I am right now. So, I mean, and I wouldn't ever dare to say those things out in public. One point, Logan Paul is a manipulator and two, True Geordie should commentate the fight. That's it. Being your boy Bond, Logan Paul's manipulator. See you guys in the next video. Peace. I don't know what I'm doing with this, but I guess it's happening. Okay.